Good morning from Greenville, South Carolina. In today's video, Kate and I are down here in South Carolina doing a performance delivery of our 2022 BMW M3 competition, X-Drive. So today is actually day two. My brother Chris picked us up at our house, drove us to Philly, and we flew and landed here. It took about an hour and a half or so. Then once we were at the airport, Marriott actually picked us up in a brand new X5, brought us to the hotel, they gave us dinner, and it's about 7.30 a.m. You can see the Michelin building over there and we are headed over to the Performance Center. There is a series of driving events that we are going to be partaking in, and then after that, we get delivery of our brand new M3. Now to help give you guys some context about the full delivery experience at the Performance Center, I am going to be interjecting from the shop. As you can see, I have the G80 behind me and we are back home several days later. Now when you order a brand new BMW, I ordered mine from Paul and Adam over at BMW of Turnsville. You have two delivery options. Option number one, you can just go to the dealer and pick up the car once it's ready. Or option two, which is what we are doing today, you can do the BMW performance delivery, which we did in South Carolina. This is a no cost option that is a complete complete game changer speaking from someone who has done it, I would 100% do it again. Basically, you just need to find a way to get yourself down there. So we flew down the night before, BMW pays for your dinner, your Marriott, and also your breakfast in the morning. Then they transport you over to the BMW Performance Center. Is that one yours? Yeah. Oh. Nice, is it Brooklyn Gray? Yeah. At the Performance Center, your day is going to start at about 8 a.m. You're gonna walk in and be greeted by their amazing staff and you're gonna be treated like a celebrity all day long. From there, one of their instructors, Clint, took us into a classroom setting where he set the expectation for today, talked about some safety items, and then gave us some really cool perspective on what makes a BMW the ultimate driving machine. After that, Kate and I went outside where they're giving out keys to similar cars to what you purchased. Now, because we bought a G80 competition, they gave us a G80 competition. Now, the funny thing was, this car was not available anywhere for me to test drive, so my test drive was actually driving their car. So what I love about this is you don't have to worry about putting any miles or getting a rock chip or wearing your tires or brakes out prematurely. You get to use their car. I had the G80. There were people that had an X3, an M440, M550. So it was really cool because you get to really experience the whole thing with a car that's very similar to what you're going to be driving. First test we did was handling. We wanted to see how good these cars handle right out of the factory. Again, these cars are bone stock. All right, so right now we are just going over proper seating adjustments and whatnot. Um, I was over here <laughs> mounting cameras as we were getting started. So Kate is gonna drive first. Um, so that I had time to get everything set up and all. So you excited? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. All right, well, here we go. We're gonna go out here into the light. Here we go. Head drivers, on a closed course, we have no speed limit. The only speed limit here falling is physics. We like that rule. There you go, right? Not bad. <laughs> right, Kayla? Okay, Look again. Ah! Turn from the blue, and we're going. Now turn it. Oh, well. Yeah, that's not how you enter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. So Kate took the driver's seat first, and as you can see, they set up a bunch of different cones, and we went in and out of the cones, and then around a larger part of the track. And each time we went around, we just got a little bit faster, and a little bit faster, and a little bit faster. Then we swapped seats, and I did the same thing. Three, two, one, go, run. Here we go. Here we go. You don't, you don't have to worry about your feet. You got to be Oh my gosh. It's amazing. The camera's never gonna do it full justice, how well the car handles, how well it stops, how well it drifts, and even more. So if you ever have the opportunity to do this experience, I 100% recommend that you do it. Now, when you're on the track, there is no speed limit, and you're going to be doing this with a wide array of people, and most of the people don't have any track experience. If you have some track experience, you may find yourself catching up to the car in front of you, at which point they may tell you to slow down. <laughs> Ryan, I'm gonna have you stop right there. Brian, stop. Brian, slow down. Chris and Brian, stop. Yeah, slow down. Come on, Tony. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Brian, have you stop right there. Cause you're going a little too fast. <laughs> Next up was the skid pad. This is polished concrete that has sprinklers on it. So as you can imagine, it is quite slick. This is actually the exact ring where BMW set the world record for the longest drift in an M5, which is about eight hours of drifting. Completely insane. Now during this test, BMW wants to prove to you how good their traction control really is. So they put you in a rear wheel drive M340i and they have you drive around the 
this circle. Now, while you're driving around the ring, your instructor is going to have you go about 25 miles an hour and then mash the accelerator. Now, the first test, you're gonna have your traction control completely off. And what's going to happen is as soon as you do that, you're going to do an instant 360, which is a wild ride. It's a brake pedal. Okay. okay. You ready to try it out? Yeah. Here we go. Stop the gas to the floor. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. sorry. We to try again? Okay. Yep. Off the gas brakes. Oh. Oh. There we go. Put our foot on the brake pedal, start it up. My glasses flew off. <laughs> <laughs> off the gas and brakes. Now with BMWs, there's full traction off, there's like a middle setting, and then there's full traction on. Now on the middle setting, which is MDM in an M car, we did the exact same thing. And when we mashed the gas, we only okay. spun 180. Remember, it is polished concrete with sprinklers, so it's extremely slick. The only thing slicker would be straight ice. For the last test, we had traction control completely on. And to be honest, I thought because of the conditions with the polished concrete and all the water, that it was still gonna slide out, but it didn't. As you can see in the video, we mashed the gas and nothing happened. <laughs> it was very uneventful, which is great because I'll tell you what, after driving these cars in the rain, a lot of times I find myself extremely cautious because I don't want it to kick out. And even with the polished concrete where you should go sliding, it just didn't, which is really a statement on how good BMW's traction control really is. The next testing that Kate and I did was the braking and our instructor James would have us go a set speed, 35 miles an hour, 45 and I believe 55 miles an hour. And we would brake 100% to see what the car was going to do and learn how to properly steer through it. No. No. <laughs> Full force. Go boom to the brake pedal. Okay. So that was about 80, maybe 70 percent. Now. Uh, 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 <laughs> Make sure you don't release off the brakes. Only add more pressure. Well done, Kaylin. My camera like <laughs> popped off the <laughs> tripod. Like you broke my tripod's neck. <laughs> hey. Gotta be safe. Where do you want to go? Oh, it's good. Where are you looking right now? Out towards the grass. You're going to go in the grass. <laughs> now, when we did it, James said, put that pedal through the floor. And when you're driving your own car, it's not really something that you want to do. But when it's BMW's car and BMW's instructor is saying, try to put the pedal through the floor, you do it because you don't care about it as much. The experience was amazing because I've never stopped that hard in my life. It was really cool because they tried to teach you to look where you're going, not where you're headed. Because if you're in a situation on the road where maybe a truck stops in front of you, if you are looking at the truck, you're going to break right into the truck. But if you're looking for a way of escape or you're on the racetrack or whatnot, and you're looking that way, your car is going to naturally go there. You learn to use your peripheral vision to make sure that you're guiding around obstacles and it's gonna get you to safety or where you need to go. From there, we did pretty much the coolest thing of the day besides getting the new car, of course. James, our instructor, who is also a NASCAR driver, so he's a little experienced, took the G80 M3 and whipped it around the track. And we did some really cool drifting with an M5 kind of tandem behind us and really pushed the car car to its limits. It is amazing to see, A, what James can do as a driver. He's an incredible driver. <laughs> ah, nice casual yeah, drift. exactly. This is when we go one hand and we're kind of hanging out. Yeah, just hanging out. <laughs> Leisurely drift. Kaylin, you feeling all right back there? Yeah, you feeling, I, you feeling good over there? Right. And B, what this car is capable of right out of the factory. Everyone thinks, especially with what we do, we modify the heck out of these things. Everyone thinks that you have to modify the crap out of it to really get good performance. Yes, it can enhance performance, but what the car is capable of right out of the box, it was completely unbelievable. I felt like when we were drifting that we were in like a BMW M commercial. Actually, some of the instructors that we were there, like Raphael, are in some of the BMW commercials, which is really cool to even have the opportunity to meet some of these instructors and really see what these cars are capable of. Then after waiting for three months from the time of order, Raphael took us to a private room where we got to see our Isle of Man G80 M3 for the very first time. When you do a performance delivery, your day is jam-packed, it's very fast-paced, and you only have a certain amount of time at each station, including when you get delivery of your car. It comes out to about two hours or so. We were faced with a little dilemma. Do we get really good B-roll for our YouTube video, or do we spend much more time talking to Raphael about his race career and learning as much as possible about the G80 M3? Well, we picked that option, and we're excited to share a lot of that information that Raphael shared with us with you guys in later videos. 
video, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you're looking to see more Raphael, I heard that might be in the future as well. From there, they took us over to lunch where everything again was complimentary. Everything from my Red Bull to my Starbucks, I felt very fancy. And then from there, we went to the last event of the day the X5 Challenge. Now, I don't think it's officially called the X5 Challenge, but it was a challenge and we were in an X5, so today, it's the X5 Challenge. Basically, what we did is we followed Clint in a series of SUVs. They were mostly X3s and X5, and they wanted to show you the limits of what these cars were capable of. Now, when you think of off-road adventures, you're probably thinking of a Jeep. These cars are completely capable of most things that a Jeep can do, if not everything and more. Take that, Jeep owners. Take that, Jeep owners. Now, we knew that this was going to be wildly exciting, so what we did is we put a GoPro on the front of the car, strapped some other cameras to the car. We went through everything from, it was like 18 or 20 inches of water, which normally, if I would have seen that on the street, I would have said, honey, don't go through that. We're gonna hydro lock. But it just showed how capable these cars are. On one hand, you feel really bad taking a brand new BMW X5 that's fully loaded through that much water. But once you go through the experience, you realize that the cars are much more capable than what you would ever think. Then we went over various driving terrains, some were just large rocks and whatnot, some were different mounds on the side of the road where you would go up and some of your tires would actually come off of the ground. Very cool. It was astonishing what the car was capable of. You'd think the car would kind of get stuck there, but sure enough, it navigates its way down. We had to actually rely on the front camera to get down there because you're literally just pointed straight up and can't see a thing but complete blast halfway through the x5 experience kate and i switched seats and again we went up hills we went down we went through this little corkscrew thing it was crazy what these cars are capable of and they said that everything that we're doing you can do in the x3 the x5 the x6 the x7 which made me really excited because we have an x7 and now i want to go take it off-roading <laughs> Thanks, Clint. <laughs> so the next time you're planning an off-road safari in Africa, consider the X5. All right, after the X5 excursion, we went over and we actually went to the Spartanburg plant. Now, the Spartanburg plant is where they make the X3, the X4, the X5, the X6, and the X7. And they told us that they have over 1.2 million square feet of space in that warehouse, or factory, I guess I'll say, and it's the largest BMW factory in the world, which is kind of crazy that out of all the places in the world, it's it's not Germany, it's in South Carolina. Now what you do is you go in and they give you safety goggles and they give you headphones and they actually take you on a one hour guided tour. You talk about everything from how many microns of paint and how much the paint weighs to all the different colors. You get to see the entire assembly process. And when you see it, it is completely mind boggling. They told us that they produce about 365,000 cars a year. So you're basically looking at about a thousand cars per day. Again, just complete mind blowing to have pieces to a thousand cars. And then pretty much every day you have 1000 new cars. The other really cool thing about about that is that they said that every car in that factory is already pre-sold. So it's not like they're just making cars and it's like, man, I hope we sell them. They're already sold. So another thing that was completely amazing. If you guys are buying a BMW or if you're just interested in BMW, do that tour. But the whole BMW performance delivery thing, it's unbelievable. Now I know that these cars are not cheap, but I think it's a very nice touch. I mean, BMW, as we said before, they do everything from put you up in a Marriott, they feed you actually good food and whatnot. Um, and then they take you on all these excursions and tours and on the track and off-roading. Um, it has been way better than I ever thought that it would be. Um, and she's over there. I'm, I'm glad my wife was able to come too because she doesn't normally get to do this kind of stuff. And I think it kind of helps get her excited about some of the things that I'm excited in, especially with cars and whatnot. So I think it's been really good, you know, for both of us together just to experience this. The last stop on our journey here is the BMW Museum. Um, the one thing I forgot to tell you is that we don't have any footage of the actual factory. In the factory, you're not allowed to have any cell phones, no cameras. You can't even have Bluetooth devices like an Apple Watch. My wife had to leave her Apple Watch in the car, which kind of seems silly, but again, they're they're very protective of what they're doing there and you know data security and all that. They're worried about breaches and stuff. And I get it. I mean. It's BMW after all. I mean, I'm sure that you got to get really sneaky if you want to get past their security. But overall, this whole performance delivery experience has been absolutely amazing. Even back starting in New Jersey at BMW of Turnersville with Adam and Paul, just the whole process is just amazing. Um, and the performance delivery, you have to do it. If you're buying a new BMW, you just have to do it. And if maybe you have a BMW, maybe you don't even have a BMW, come down and 
do the Spartanburg tour. I'll let you know if this is worth it after. I, I assume because everything else was so epic that this is probably gonna be worth it too. So they do allow cameras in here. So let's head inside and check out the BMW Museum. Caleb would love that one. At this point of the day, it was roughly 3 p.m. just to give you a sense on time. So we drove for a couple hours, met up with John and James, had dinner with them. Is that a Supra? <laughs> I'm like, I'm photobombing you guys hard. And then proceeded to a hotel and then home the next day. Lastly, we just want to say thanks again to Clint, to James, to Raphael, to BMW of Turnersville, and everyone down at the Performance Center who made this experience amazing. If you haven't done it or you're thinking about ordering a BMW, get it delivered there and you won't regret it. And for those of you looking for more G80 M3 content, be sure to subscribe because we have a ton of content coming your way. Once again, my name is Brian. That's Zach behind the camera. And that was Kate, my wife, in the video. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. And for more information on everything that BMW has to offer at the Performance Center, we have a link for you down below as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next